what to do DeFi rebels i'm air and we're here for your 7th of june update that's right i do this every single day sometimes multiple times a day As you can see we are pretty red across the board market pretty much erasing the gains from yesterday so yesterday was heavily well oriented they decide to buy the news of all these lawsuits between the sec and binance and coinbase and labeling you know 13 tokens as securities we're going to take a look at that there's a lot of news to cover today we're also going to take a look at the charts in the ta holding this level right now although we might lose it we keep chipping away at this liquidity this is a pretty strong support level we lose this we're going to kind of come back down probably to this 25403 and we'll take a look at some resistances so some ports show you where to where and how to take entries today like i said there is a lot of news to cover right u.s congress set state for hearing on the future of crypto we have companies looking abroad now with circle uh trying to go for a singapore license all united against sec's fud toward binance we're gonna take a look at political candidates stances i'm a single issue voter now we're gonna take a look at that robin hood delisting some tokens asset freeze you know we're just basically gonna get you caught up on the latest in in the news so massive paydays for lawyers i mean this shit is just ridiculous i mean it's just insane out here but we're gonna try to narrow it down put it all into context for you guys in a short sweet video get you the levels the key levels to look for today at the end of the day all this shit is just noise we got to keep grinding away we got to keep adapting at the end of the day we're still here to make money that's what we're gonna do that's what i'm gonna show you how to do so buckle up let's take a look at it let's get into it all right guys we're gonna start off here so the u.s congress has set dates for a hearing on the future of crypto the House Financial Services Chairman Patrick Henry said on Tuesday, June 13th, so this is next Tuesday, the hearing is literally titled The Future of Digital Assets, Providing Clarity for Digital Asset Ecosystem. As part of its responsibilities, it holds, you know, oversight over the United States economy. So this is going to be huge. I'm going to be watching, especially with all the shit going on between Binance, the SEC, labeling all these coins securities. I want to know where they all stand on this and what they're going to do about it um sec commissioner gensler facing criticism from republican lawmakers it's amazing that this has become political now um they're pushing me more and more to the right they're pushing a lot of crypto more and more to the right it's it's crazy to me that this has become so politicized here so sec's ambitious crypto guidelines pose challenges as we all know and so here's what's going to happen you're right we've seen it already We've seen it with all the exchanges shutting down in the United States, the non-Coinbase, I'm talking futures exchanges, uh, the, the non-Coinbases, the non-Krakens. We're seeing Circle now looking abroad amid the onslaught from the SEC with Singapore license. The U.S. is going to lose this battle. We're going to lose. It's going to be just like losing the dot com, the computers, the Microsofts, the Apples. We're, it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. There is no difference here. So circle looking to move abroad as other companies are as well so i want to be the first to say so if these allegations are true against binance right so if binance actually is allegedly trading against its own customers through subsidiary market makers while commingling user assets with its own a big no-no if it's true right like if they're actually doing that they're the same as ftx or the same as as sam bankman freed this is the type of shit that we need to root out of the industry if it's true and i don't know if it's true i'm not saying if it is or it isn't i don't know at the end of the day do i have an opinion on it i'd probably say you know they probably are i would probably say most exchanges are unfortunately i don't ftx was not the anomaly i promise you they were not the anomaly hopefully we can root this shit this type of shit out and be done with it once and for all because this is hurting the industry in general it's hurting futures traders it's hurting the crypto market the prices um, but again, I don't know, maybe they are, maybe they aren't, but most of the charges so far are all civil and not criminal, right? So this is just talking about did the SEC just label everything on Coinbase's front page as security. Are they going to use a screenshot? So with a 14 page manifesto, it's not to outline exactly how digital assets might pass the Howey test, a 77 year old checklist for determining when investing in an orange grove became an investment contract. So 
the SEC rattled off 13 cryptos considered securities in the Coinbase lawsuit. So keen observers may have sought a method to the madness. So round them all up and no realistic pattern of peers. There's native tokens for nine layer ones, add a soul file, polygon, and there are also four ERC-20 tokens, four Ethereum tokens. So eight of the 13 ran public token offerings or conducted private. So muddy in the waters is that the suit aimed at Binance one day earlier pre presents a slightly different list. Here you can see the list Binance, Coinbase, and then ones that are listed on both. So what gives a screenshot of Coinbase's front page <laughs> has all of the ones on there. So a screenshot of Coinbase's webpage shows 12 or 13 tokens listed in the lawsuit offered as tradable cryptos in a manner similar to market coin market cap. So it would be a mighty convenient coincidence for the SEC to conclude that each token was a security all on its own with no disconcernable similarities between them only to open up Coinbase's website and see them all offered alongside each other in a single screenshot. <laughs> the only token missing Nexel to make matters worse, the SEC may have well may as well have done exactly the same thing in its Binance suit. The canary in the coal mine could be Cody, Cody the native token, the self-style enterprise layer one network, which found itself listed alongside Matic and Ada. Oof, let's just rename it to HTML test and be done with it. So did the SEC just take a screenshot and, and list those off? Is that what we're doing now? Is that what we're doing? You got United States companies folding, right? I mean, this is what we need to not happen. We need these companies to actively fight this, probably band together somehow. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the ins and outs of this, right? Don't take it laying down like Kraken did. Uh, otherwise, we're, we're all doomed. It's it's doomed. Crypto's doomed uh, in the United States anyways. And Canada, it's looking like right now, while the crypto market is much bigger in the United States, I understand it for all the comment reply guys. Trust me when I say that if the United States goes away, y'all are going to have a very, very bad time, at least in the short term, right? I mean, 60, 70% of all transactions are from the United States. Um, it's going to be tough if that happens. Hopefully it doesn't. You know, we're, a, what, a year and a half away from the next elections. Hopefully we can squeak that out. But Robinhood may delist these crypto assets after SEC lockdown. Crackdown, I should say. So Robinhood delisting under pressure. Again, these are all the tokens. We all know them by now. What delisting crypto means for Robinhood, they're just playing it safe, right? That's all they're doing here. They don't want the smoke. I say, give me the smoke, right? Let's let's take this on together. But Robinhood doesn't care. As we know from the past, from the, the old GM, uh, uh, GME ape, uh, whatever days, you know what I mean? So surprisingly enough, so we all know that there was an asset freeze that the United States SEC went to a judge and said, hey, we need you to freeze all of Binance.us assets to protect the customers. I don't know how that protects anybody. That would hurt way more people than it would help, right? So what asset freeze? So Binance BTC outflows muted as users shun panic selling. So exchange Bitcoin holdings, unlike Ether, appear stable in light of the Binance and Coinbase lawsuit news. On-chain losses remain quiet, right? We haven't moved that much. We actually pumped yesterday. We did a race it today, so we're right, kind of right back to square one. Exchange traders not rushing for an exit right now, as you can see here, right? You have your uh, exchange balance, all exchanges, and then the price. Nothing crazy happening on. So SEC motions to freeze assets on Binance Exchange. Binance customers do not care. Not seeing much BTC leaving. Not yet at least. As usual, who's going to clean up through all this? It's the lawyers, right? Legal costs for Binance and Coinbase in their battles with the SEC. Not to mention the SEC's costs, right? Which you guys pay. We pay. I pay. Uh, according to a former lawyer at the agency, we could be looking at $100 million costs. So the U.S. SEC commissions moved to file suit against these exchanges this week, sent shockwaves across the industry. If legal fees for both exceed 100 million, I would not be surprised. Uh, Moses Singer partner Howard Fisher told the block in an interview. Uh, he was a former senior trial counsel at SEC. So money, money, money for the lawyers. 
Feels bad, man. Binance and Coinbase crackdown wipes 1.7 billion from CZ and Armstrong's fortunes. So crypto billionaires are personally feeling the pinch. CZ is the biggest loser, loser with a billion plus down the drain. Coinbase has lost more than just a fortune for its CEO. Investors are also down bad. They're up in the green today, but they're still down overall. Uh, there's billionaires fortunes fluctuate all the time. This is nothing new, but I just thought this was just pretty, pretty interesting. And like always, if you want to read into any of these articles further, not only are the timestamps down below, but every article I cover is listed with a link down below as well, as well. And like I said, man, us sec enforcement could boost Europe's crypto chances. Officials say Europe trying to get on the fun. EU officials are hoping to tempt crypto tempt crypto innovators as exchange platforms binance and coinbase complain of regulation it's not just binance and coinbase i've been saying this for a while now take the top 40 crypto exchanges minus the the normal us ones like coinbase kraken bybit bitget try to sign up for them nine out of ten eight out of ten of them you're not gonna be able to make an account in the us or even canada now so eu officials are hoping to tempt crypto innovators as exchange platforms complain right so this is from brussels belgium as the u.s sec watchdogs flex its muscles against major crypto exchanges officials in the eu are showing off a brand new crypto framework they say offers greater clarity to blockchain innovators few if any of the internet giants that dominate web 2 can call the eu their home but some in brussels now wonder if europe's different approach could see the eu become a mecca where the the tech industry is heavily in the United States. We all know that Silicon Valley, et cetera, et cetera, San Francisco, Twitter headquarters, right? It's, it's the web boom was in the United States. It looks like we're going to snuff this out. That's what it looks like to me. Unless something changes, we can get someone in there pro crypto, like a Kennedy uh, type candidate, uh, RFK junior type candidate. Um, or even at this point, it's looking like possibly that DeSantis, DeSantis is a, pro crypto candidate although he doesn't seem to know much about it uh, i don't know that i trust him quite yet but we'll get into that here a little bit later so eu hoping to capitalize on the u.s just being freaking dumbasses right so this is just more on the motion to file so us se files an emergency sec files an emergency motion in court to freeze binance.us assets saying that it's going to protect investors. So because defendants have repeat, repeatedly failed to provide sufficient assurances, the SEC now seeks the court's assistance in ensuring the safety and availability of investor assets and that defendants do not dissipate assets that may become due should the SEC prevail in this action, the SEC said. So BAM Trading is a organization that CZ owns that they're saying he uses the trade against its customers. Again, if true FCZ, CZ tweeted out the news about the restraining order and that it would only affect Binance.us if granted by the court. Clarification, this could only affect Binance.us if granted by the court, does not affect Binance.com. In my opinion, if you are a Binance.us user, um, I don't want to create FUD or fear, uncertainty, and doubt. But I'm playing it safe. Get your funds off there. That's just my advice. You should have already done this days ago, yesterday, when this started breaking. Pro Ripper, Ripple. Why can't I talk today, man? I'm all tongue-tied. That's kind of a normal thing for me when I talk a little fast, right? So Pro Ripple Lawyer exposes the SEC's lack of legal precedence in the XRP case. So I've been saying this now for a while. This is what the SEC is trying to do. They're trying to set legal precedent. Gensler's out here throwing darts at the board, right? Against crypto. I mean, that's his focus right now. I mean, they, just keep in mind too, they never sued FTX. FTX was never in any trouble. They didn't protect us. They're not protecting anybody with any of this right now. He's just trying to buff up. They're trying to buff up their resume, make it look like they're actually out here doing something. But they're also, um, they have a narrative, they have an agenda, right? Protect the dollar, this, you know, get the CBDC out there. We want to control. This is what the Democrats plan is. We're going to get into this in a little bit. But he's just saying, I challenge the SEC in my amicus brief to cite a single case from any court ever that found an investment contract between a person purchaser, an individual XRP holder and a promoter 
Ripple when there existed no privity, no contract whatsoever between the promoter and purchaser. I challenged the SEC to cite a single case because I know they couldn't and they didn't. XRP community standing strong. So this is what I've been saying for a while now. So this is what I was talking about with the whole BAM trading thing. So xbinance.us CEO says CZ was the CEO of BAM trading according to court documents. So Brian Brooks resigned as CEO after a few months back in August of 2021. So BAM trading, BAM management, CZ owned, CZ operated allegedly. He's saying he did not work for Binance.com. Nobody at Binance.com was my boss. And that role was to compete, complete and highlight the corporate separateness. So when I talked to CZ, I considered myself to be talking to him as a role as a board chair, BAM trading. What became clear to me at a certain point was that CZ was the CEO of BAM trading, not me. That was because Binance.com somehow controlled us. But again, he owns the vast majority of Binance.com. So I put that aside. He continued. So, yeah, so he's just in a lawsuit in court alleging that he was the CEO of BAM. You're pretty much caught up on where we're at right now. Potential implications, you know, companies moving overseas, U.S. suffering, us, U.S. traders, Canadian traders left in the waste. We had to go back and trade um, Tesla stock or something, right? So U.S. presidential candidates vie for crypto voters. So presidential candidates express diverse opinions and policy proposals on crypto. Candidates like Ted Cruz and DeSantis advocate for a crypto-friendly atmosphere regulations. Even Trump, once critical of crypto, has embraced the industry with his own two now NFT collections. So the rise of crypto voters in America. So the poll findings reveal that 44% of U.S. voters own or consider owning crypto. Of these voters, 17% already own crypto. So presidential candidates courting crypto voters. We know Trump is recently you know, with his NFT collections, right? So in the past, he has said in 2019, he's not a fan of Bitcoin and crypto, called him Ponzi schemes, he's saying the same shit that Elizabeth Warren, he's kind of warmed up to it a little bit, it would seem. DeSantis, on the other hand, has come out and said that he vows to outlaw CBDCs. He did that in Florida. So the thing I don't like about Trump, and this isn't a political channel, he says a lot of shit, but he doesn't actually get it done where DeSantis or didn't get it done, where DeSantis keeps his head down. He's not out there being a showman. He gets it done. He's outlawed it in Florida, and he's saying he's going to do it with the United States as well. I don't know if you listen to his Twitter space, but he seemed pretty pro-crypto, but also crypto ignorant, like he didn't know a lot about it. But his stance is super anti-CBDC, which is really their larger, the Democrats' larger agenda, right? The IRS, the Treasury, the Federal Reserve, Biden, Elizabeth Warren, that is their agenda. So RFK is the strongest crypto candidate out there. In, in my opinion, he actually knows about crypto and Bitcoin. So a quote from him, cryptocurrencies led by Bitcoin along with other crypto tech are a major innovation engine. It is a mistake for the U.S. government to hobble the industry and drive innovation elsewhere, which we're seeing. Biden proposed a 30% tax on mining. It's a bad idea, he said. So he also said, yes, energy use is a concern, though somewhat overstated, but Bitcoin mining uses about the same as video games, and no one is calling for a ban on those. The environmental argument is a selective pretext to suppress anything that threatens elite power structures. Come on! I mean, this guy, if you guys don't know, I mean, first of all, you should know who RFK is, Bobby Kennedy Jr., right? Bobby Kennedy's kid. He's just killing it out here with crypto and everything else he's saying. You got you to gotta listen to him. I'm, I'm a RFK fanboy right now. I really am. And he's a Democrat. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican either, right? But I'm a one-issue voter this, this voting cycle. Ted Cruz, been a vocal supporter. A quote from him, crypto is generating new jobs, encouraging entrepreneurs to invent new values and create new hedges against inflation and presenting new opportunities. It is also increasingly being used as a secure form of payment for goods and services. This is precisely why we here at the United States Capitol should increase accessibility and signal our support for the burgeoning crypto industry. 
he said more so he's he seems to be pro crypto i don't know that he's running for president though is is he i haven't really been paying attention choice is yours shared republican voters who would choose the following candidates blah 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 we know where the democrats stand on this on paper right so biden's order instructs multiple government agencies including the federal reserve the sec to investigate the potential dangers of you know crypto presents in practice the order also opens the door for exploration of the cbdc to which some candidates were vehemently opposed to namely kennedy jr and desantis who's actually banned it in florida um a lot of these other ones we don't really know when the ones that we went over we did but a lot of these other candidates we just don't know their stance they haven't really spoken on what probably means you know harley but they're not gonna win you know really it's in my opinion it's desantis trump biden or kennedy those are the four top candidates in my mind right now maybe i'm biased but those are the four right now that we are looking at. So here's some more from Biden, right? No fundamental value, Joe Biden, Democrat says. So, I mean, here we can see right here, tax loopholes to help with it. We know where these people stand. If you're still voting Democrat and you're in the crypto space, get the F out of here, like leave, <laughs> get out of here. Virtual currency is treated as property in general tax. So he's even lying out here in Twitter their new community notes has to say there's no evidence of loopholes at all. Not a fan of Bitcoin, Donald Trump said. However, seems to be coming around because he figured out how to make money off of it. Nah. Every right to do Bitcoin, Ron DeSantis says in his Twitter spaces with, uh, we already kind of talked about him a little bit. I don't know who this guy is. I'm not going to talk about him. RFK, a major, and I'm telling you, RFK guys, get on it, follow him on Twitter major innovation engine he's so pro crypto um nikki haley hasn't addressed it miriam Will williamson uh seems to be against like the canadian banning of the truckers wallets and things like that so a little more pro crypto for her but i'm gonna end it there with this whole segment let's jump into the charts a little bit i think you get the picture here all these articles are linked down below if you want to dive into these further let's take a look at the bigger picture so yesterday we saw us pump today you're seeing us dump i mean it was just a straight dump really on sunday we kind of erased that yesterday with all that news coming out about binance and cz didn't make any sense but the whales decided hey f them right we're gonna we're gonna buy it and that's exactly what happened i'll show you why with the cvds and the deltas and the well orders here in a little bit today we are dumping down about three and a half percent you know, we are kind of finding ourselves in a tradable channel here with these two blue lines, your support and your resistance. This is currently the channel, the main channel that I'm watching it. Yeah, we've we've tried to break out and yeah, we've lost it a little bit. But overall, these lines are acting as support and resistance. These are the larger key levels. This 25,400 is the bigger level that we need to hold. Otherwise, it's going to get violent. So it's actually dropped 25, 300 ish now is where those liquidations, those three, five and 10 times larger market movers, market maker orders are going to start getting liquidated, right? Where we can get sucked up, probably get hung up down here in 22, 900. So far though, so far we are holding that line so far. If we lose it, I'm looking at 24, 500 and then that 22, 900, I think would be really in this cycle unless some black swan event unless the sec and the government keeps doing what it's doing i think we'll hold off there maybe it doesn't even come to that maybe we continue to hold i'm going to move this down because it's actually at 300 now boom there we go so there we go that's that's the bigger picture right now so in order to be bullish how do we be bullish so we need to close we need to make a higher high which now you're looking at about 28 489 ish so be bullish we need to solidly close we need that to be our new floor we keep making lower lows right i mean you can make new trend lines boom 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 there's your tradable channel now the good news is this type of channel this descending wedge does break to the upside so we should again unless some black swan event or the economy there's a lot going on so anything can happen but you know that can bring us right back up to about a thirty thousand dollar bitcoin depending on where we kind of break out of this channel at but these descending wedges tend to break to the upside so there is good news it is bearish right now trade these channels i mean this is going back all the way to the thirty-one thousand dollar top 
how do you trade these channels? How do you look for entries? Now, this is a larger time frame. You can find channels within channels like I did with the two blue lines on there, but it's simple, right? If you would have just longed, short, longed, whatever one of these you could have shorted, short, long, short, long, short. Let's take a measurement. 11%. Do 20 times, it's 200%. Five times, 50%, right? So, and then you did it multiple times here. So that's how I look for for entries and orders. When we're getting solid tradable channels like this, I, I love it. I'm cleaning the frick up. I, you guys have seen some of my videos. I've been live trading. I've live traded a million dollars worth of Bitcoin, right? And made 60, 70, 80, 100K live right so this is what i'm looking at for a bigger picture you know it's going to eventually break up but it looks like we're continuously making lower lows we need to cleanly break out above this trend line really above 27.4 but really about 24.489 but these lines are all my key levels feel free to do what you want with them as you know me i post them in discord all the time discord.gg slash defi rebels hop on in it's trading clans not a signals group those are for losers it's not a an altcoin channel where I'm charging you a hundred dollars a month to show you some bullshit charts that I didn't even make that someone who I'm paying five dollars a chart did right like a lot of the other discords out there and I'm transparent I show you my trades my year to date PNL hop on in so that's what I'm looking at bigger picture let's show you smaller picture time frame so let's zoom into a smaller time frame looking for entries right now. You can see our big support here, our big resistance, this long bar or rectangle, long bar or rectangle, support resistance, current trend line, close above this is bullish, lose this, and really this has kind of moved down to 2300 now. So we're gonna move that. It's gonna get violent when we start sucking up that liquidity. Thankfully, we have been bouncing off of it, which is good. We've done it a couple times now. So if we don't, and we start to slip that, it's going to get violent. It's going to get very, very ugly. In the meantime, here's your tradable channel, right? You can see the numbers where it is on the side here. So from about 27,550 to about 27,361. And it's the same thing here, right? You short, long, long, short you know i'm just gonna do this boom 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 and look you were short down here guess what you would have gotten that bigger breakout you would have seen this which i've had on here forever and said hey that's gonna be some resistance and boom you would have shorted up there this play would have netted you 12 percent. this is how i'm trading this is how i'm trading so i'm teaching people to trade in our discord channel on this video you know, there's lots of ways you can come up with these levels. This is just how I do it, right? And if you uh, don't like this way, then let me see your method. Let me see your year-to-date P&L. Let me see how much money you're making like I'm transparent and open about. Uh, so yeah, so the POC, big resistance, current trend line, bullish, bearish here, and then POC in the middle. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. So we're at big support right now. So traditionally, Traditionally, we would get a bounce up to resistance here. So today, you know, the, the dumpage could be over. You know, I'd probably look for a long entry. I'm already in my positions right now, but you could probably look for a long entry around here. Do your own TA, anything can happen. Something could change five minutes after I post this video. Do your own TA, but the history will show you that if you're longing and supporting on these trend lines, you're gonna have a fine, fine time and eventually catch that breakout. But also keeping in mind that you got some support and resistance on the top and bottom as well. So you can see that that monthly Bitcoin, we're going to take a look at Cypher B right now. This is Market Cypher B, one of the best, if not the best. It's up there with Lux Algo, it's the two best indicators out there. It's multiple indicators in one. So we can see that we're starting to pinch off a little bit on Bitcoin. And we're starting to see the VWAP come down a little bit. This is on the monthly. All right, we take a look at the weekly. We can see the money flow is still bleeding. We're still working on that red dot. You can have green days in here. You can have anomalies like yesterday. You can have some black swan-ish event news 
that's going to change the markets but the markets have short memories it's going to flip around real quick because we are still bull bearish right now stokes coming down we got oversold up here they're coming down it's still got plenty of room on the weekly to cool off so we also have the daily here again cooling off we got that kind of green ish candle that printed on sunday right and then we got that red on on monday and it's just been red ever since but that money flow has been red stoke rsi even though we got that tick up from yesterday it's gonna be coming back down today we got bear divs everywhere right let me make my line bearish divergence there you got bear divs all over the stokes and rsis bear div bear div we'll just keep making lower lows right so bear divs everywhere right now money flow bleeding so i just want to paint the picture not this i'm not a perma bear by any means we're bullish i'm bullish when we're bearish i'm bearish that's just how it is i'm not catching a fallen knife or trying to stop a, a rocket that's blasting off right that's just the way it is so looking at the four hour a little more immediate a uh, little more current time frame money flows coming out in the four hour you can see that red dot that printed that was this morning at seven o'clock a.m as you can see it's playing out now stoke and rsi is coming way way down got the bearish divergences playing out bearish divergences everywhere bearish divergences there red dot money flow coming out bearish it's just looking bearish so trade the channels like i've been saying and you're going to have a good time as long as you're catching those support and resistances shorten and long in them eventually you're going to catch that bigger breakout right now the longer these channels get drawn on the tougher and tougher it gets you got to catch them early but they're still good they're still still good so that's what i'm looking at right now we need the money flow we need everything to start turning around you can see where we were green the pump yesterday and then today we've just kind of given it all up but I, the next four hour candle print i bet you we're going to be even lower on the money flow so we did get a bullish cross which propelled us i mean you can see your bullish cross that happened so this particular was when the 200 crossed the 50 and you can see when that happens typically you get a pump up and we did this was from 22 to 28 right but this is weekly so it's been declining ever since so you can see we are getting pretty close we're toying with the 200 week moving average right now this is going to act as support and resistance you can see we did slip it pretty briefly down to about 25.3 but that 200 week the 21 and then we got that 50 down here coming from us so those are the four moving averages i watched the 50 the 200 the 21 and the 100. Uh, as a trend trader that those are the four main ones that i watch and then my trend lines and you know other things as well so that's on the weekly so let's take a look at the daily what do we got let's just kind of reload here there we go 200 we still got a ways to go it's at 23 388 right now we have slipped the the rest of them right so the 50 the 21 the 100 we've slipped them all so once you start slipping those you got to look below us and think that we're coming down to that 200 moving average or when we retest we're retesting those moving averages and getting a bounce off of them which we saw you know kind of close to that 21 when we had that pump up the 21 day moving average and we retested the 50 and the 100 got rejected and bounced back down so those that's what i'm looking at as far as moving averages go let's take a look at the book map let's take a look at coinbase these are current orders streaming right now i'm a little low huh bounce myself up a little bit current orders so you can see it's still heavy below us that's why i'm saying we're still bearish i mean it's it's still a bearish market though we've had some liquidity come up above us it's still just a a solid pattern below us a solid magnets right liquidity acts as magnets 25k 24k you know we can even talk about kind of that 22 9 ish k that we were talking about there but this is where we're looking at lots of liquidity in our range here so this is that kind of bouncing up and down range right like short i mean long short long short long short so that's kind of like that trend that we're currently in right now the smaller trend that i showed you so taking a look at binance right now it's probably gonna tell us the same thing i mean look at twenty five thousand right there twenty four thousand we're coming down to grab those guys just a matter of when just a matter of when right when we're bearish we're bearish just finding confluence in the order book here we're gonna take a look kind of wrapping up bitcoin here a little bit so wrapping up we're gonna take a look at the this is agar.trade i have a whole tutorial on this 
I have a template in our Discord. Again, discord.gg slash DeFi Rebels. Hop on in. So I just want to say we are still trending down. These are perpetual orders still trending down. Yeah, we got a little bump up yesterday, but again, we're trending down today. No higher highs. Trending down on the spot orders. Volume is at a at a three-year monthly low. Sell side dominant. You can see the whales still still selling. You can see the little little medium guys were kind of buying while the whales were selling, and then the opposite happened yesterday. I, I, you know, it's you got to watch this stuff. You know, you got to do what the whales are doing because they're they're trading against you, right? They're trading against you. So yesterday, everyone thought we were going to go down, right? Then all of a sudden, the whales started buying and we went up. So still bearish, guys. Still bearish. And look, I think we've been going almost 40 minutes now. I think I'm going to end it there. DXY is flat today. Tether dominance rising as tether dominance rises, right? So let's go to the four hour here. As we rise in the tether dominance, Bitcoin comes down. Alt right across the board right now. Bitcoin dominance pretty flat. So it's still the king out there. Bitcoin dominance has been on a tear, as you can see here. It's really where the plays are. You shouldn't really be trading anything else except for Bitcoin. At least I'm not. Few one offs here and there, right? Few one offs here and there. But for the most part, we're not in an alt season. A lot of alts right now. I mean, it could be Algorand like approaching all time lows. Just not a good time for alts right now. So that's why we're mainly focusing on Bitcoin. But you have to TA Bitcoin. If you're just trading an alt and you're not TA in Bitcoin, you're going to fail. So you TA Bitcoin first, then you use all the same stuff that I just went through. TA your altcoins. And if you want any altcoins TA'd specifically, hop in Discord and I'll TA them for you. I think that's it. <clears throat> Starting to get a dry throat. 40 minutes going here now. If you've made it this far, let me know you made it this far in the comments below. And I really do appreciate you guys. Hop in Discord, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys later on today. We'll see you in Discord. If something pops off, you know, Nick Dunkey will be around later on tonight for another video. I'll be here back here tomorrow. Appreciate you guys later.